guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about a new video that Lele Pons posted on her channel. I know I talked about her quite a while ago and the content has continued to be absolute garbage as we can expect. This one interested me more than other ones because it was called Back to College. I've been in higher education or whatever you want to call it, past high school for almost six years. So that one struck me as interesting because I was like, this one could actually be a good video because if you've been in school for that long, you know that there are certain things or certain tropes that are actually true. For example, there's the trope of the fact that you know, you'll email your teacher and you'll email it really nicely and make sure there are no mistakes and just be like very formal and they'll answer, okay, thanks. <laughs> Which is always just kind of a funny thing just because of it happens so often. I figured we could watch it together. I'll link the shirt in the description. I know you guys will want to know and the artist is amazing so you should definitely check her out. I know it's my first day of college. Okay, I'll call you back. I'm going to class. Hello. Oh, freshman. Rush Kevin. No, 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 no. It is Latina. Rush Kevin. Oh, I know, I know. Sorry, one, one, sorry. Jesus. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Oh my God. Okay. Hey, Jane, save the corn. Save the corn? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I'll save the corn. Hey, what's up? Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, would you like to go to a party tonight? Yeah. Party tonight? Yes. On a school night? For sure. No, I, I don't. I don't. I don't go to parties. So. You don't go to parties. Go to no. parties. This is college. Yeah, that girl is whack. Get out of here. Hey, wh where's class? I don't know. I'm skipping it. My battery died. Um, I don't know if it was in reaction to this masterpiece or what, but I think that my general feeling so far is just. <sighs> There are so many things here that are just BS, just because first they're not funny, but then they're not even accurate. So it's like you can't win in any way here. It's number 42 on trending, by the way, just saying. But, okay, so first of all, let's assume that she's trying to portray the American college because she does live in the States and I'm assuming a lot of her viewers, though she is Latina, a lot of her viewers are American. So first day of college, let's assume it's in America. Not many colleges look like that. The hallways, they don't look like that, especially when she shows this huge, enormous building at the beginning. And then this looks like a little business plaza, you know, in the corner of Fuckville, you know? So there's that. I don't know why she says, oh my God, when she sees the hallway, just because it's full of people. Like, were you expecting to go to college by yourself? I, like what? What about seeing people is shocking? Especially because like, they're just people out in a hallway, which in a way is realistic to college because a lot of the times in the hallways you'll have people waiting for their class. So that is realistic. However, the people aren't salespeople, like the first three girls she encounters. And then when she says that she doesn't party, like I understand that she's gonna try and come off as like the studious girl who just wants to have a good first day at college. But honestly, nothing that she's doing is relatable or accurate to college or funny. So I'm just wondering what direction is this gonna go in. Sorry I'm late! Where's everybody else? Excuse me. Oh, sorry. 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 No, I totally missed homework. Wait. Excuse me. Where's the teacher? Good afternoon, class. Sorry for the way his shirt's off welcome to english 101 english 101 that's the class i'm teaching so you know i'm gonna be extra salty about this part but i mean i don't really know what she was trying to imply with the lack of shirt is it the lack of professionalism of professors because either you're going to a shitty school or you think really lowly of university if you're gonna have a professor coming in with 
their shirt off, which I'm not even sure, like, what, what's the message there? Like, what are you trying to say and why is that funny? Someone please fill me in. So, let's start with a roll call, shall we? Is that, is that Bella Hadid? No. Bella Hadidi? Present. All right, guys, this semester we'll be covering six books. Um, Wait, six books? That's like 30 pages a night. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you heard of plagiarism? Who reads? Oh, this is so uncomfortable to watch. Like, I'm getting goosebumps, and I get goosebumps in two situations. Cringe and anger. This is so... Oh, God. It's so just terrible. Especially the girls acting, who was the girl, by the way, in the hallway that was like, are you Latina or something? Shit like that? I can't remember what she said. And she's like, plagiarism! And I was like... Do you really, like, are we really gonna talk about college in that way? Like, is that the only joke you can come up with? Not, like, the drunk people, people coming in hungover, things that actually happen. Like, that's really my point of contention here, is that this is not stuff that happens, and it's not stuff that's funny. And plagiarism gets people kicked out of school all the time, so, I mean... I don't know what the point of this whole thing is, but it's just so embarrassingly badly acted. It's clear that she's trying to be the quirky, like, maybe confused girl who's like, oh my god, I don't understand college, but at the same time, it's just like, what is the point? It's not funny. Who laughs at this? Tell me if you got a laugh out of any of this, because for me, it's just sigh material. Like, I sigh when I see these things. Laughter is not even in the back of my mind. That guy does my essays. Oh my god, you're so cute. So, when is prom? <laughs> She said wrong. Can I go to my lockers? She said lockers. I'm guessing you don't have PE. PE. <laughs> <laughs> you're bringing a spider. She said PE. Oh my god. All right, guys. Sorry, I got a text. Uh, I gotta go. Well, guess class is done. Party at my house. He, he didn't say class is missed. I am not gonna leave until he says class is missed. Can this day get any worse? Same. Oh my god. Well, I'm sorry, who are you? I'm your roommate. This is our dorm. Not you! What is that supposed to mean? Uh, you were hooking up with, like, everybody. I don't know, you have, like... 20 boyfriends. All I've seen you do is kiss. Oh, no, 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 no. I would never bring that here. Okay. Plus, what happens in the hallways stays in the hallways. <sighs> okay. Catherine, what the hell? Were you making out with Jake one in the hallway? Why are you coming up in here disrespecting me and my doormate? Are you kidding me? What are you coming in for? You know I hate when you do this. Because I like it. What does that have to do with anything? Because we talk like this. What are you doing here? Why are you still here? Why are you still here? Okay, so so far the story is Lele goes to one of her classes and this is a totally real scenario where there's a fake Bella Hadid, which I don't even know what the point of adding that in was because it's not funny. Again, she missed a possibility including a real thing that happens in college. Like a lot of the times you'll see people texting like this or having their book and texting behind it. So she could have done something comedic about things that happen. And I know that I keep repeating myself, but it's like she keeps missing opportunity after opportunity after opportunity, which makes me think, how long did you think about this stupid skit before you filmed it? I wanna say five seconds, but then again, seeing the intelligence level of your skits, maybe you thought about this for half an hour and thought it was a really good idea. Like, asking when prom is? Ugh, fucking kill me. Stupid! Hello, Mama? Yeah, I'm gonna go home. No, I just can't, I can't do college. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go home and study in the house. Oh. Did you drop this? 
Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Well, I should probably get back to my room. Never mind. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure those are the stairs. Oh, don't even worry about that. That's neither here nor there. But I was going to ask you. Yes? I was wondering if this. Yes? You can tell my girlfriend Catherine that I'll be back later. Okay. You know what? Go f I feel like there comes a point when you watch these videos where your brain just automatically dies because I genuinely... I don't know what to say. I don't know what to feel. I mean, I just feel like my eyes are glossing over, like they feel really shiny. Just kind of... mystified that this is the content that YouTube supports and promotes. And people watch this kind of stuff. Like, why? Like, how does this happen? Like, how did we get here? I know that the goal of this is to be funny, but I feel like all these little things that she's doing wrong, essentially everything, make it not funny. And an inconsistency can really ruin a skit, honestly. So she should work on that, that's for sure. And I don't even get it because it's just like, you have so much money. Why don't you have someone write the skits for you? Someone who's actually comedic in some way. The comments make me feel better because people say, I didn't laugh once. And someone else said, when you don't know anything about college. And then somebody else said, I laughed more in the comment section than I did in the video. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you understand why this is supposed to be funny, please explain it to me so I can get in on all the laughs that everyone's having, um, even clearly from the comment section. Uh, thank you to my patrons as always, and let's get right into the fan art.